In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which he is offended, and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and of the immaculate heart of Mary, I beg of thee the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love thee. Sancti Michael Archangeli, defendi nos in prerio, Contra nequitiam et insidias diaboli esto presidium, imperitiri Deus supices de precamor, tuque princeps minitiae celestis, satanam mariosque spiritus manignos, quod perditione animarum pervagantur in mundo, divina virtute in infernum trude. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. As we enter into these glorious mysteries on the feast of Christ the King, because for those who may not be familiar, the last Sunday of October has traditionally been the Feast of Christ the King and still is so today in many places throughout the world, wherever the Latin Mass is celebrated. So after the rosary, I'll be reading for you the gospel for this great feast and saying a few words and also giving you some very good news in terms of this rosary continuing and the support you've provided and also some important news about the Benedictines of Mary, the good community of nuns who you hear singing every day during our rosary. So if at all possible, please do uh, stay with me today for a couple minutes after the rosary. And so for that reason, I'm, I'm gonna be brief before the rosary and go right in. There, as always, there are many needs, many intentions to pray for, but among them, pray for, please, Peter, who's just seven weeks old, who's quite ill, a little baby boy. And also, let's pray today especially for courage and faith and hope to avoid the attacks of the enemy that, especially on this day, this 31st of October, All Hallows' Eve, the enemy tries so much, among many other evil things, to instill fear. The enemy knows that he is nothing compared to God. And so he knows he, he cannot win against God directly. But what he tries to do is to instill fear, panic, doubt, unease in God's servants. Because if he can do that, and if he can get a soul to even subconsciously begin to diminish or withdraw, in terms of its faith, in terms of its hope in our Lord, then the enemy has more of a chance in that soul. And so let's ask for graces from all those who are uh, in many ways defenseless in this spiritual battle, who aren't even aware that there's a spiritual battle, aren't even aware that this great struggle between the wicked spirits of evil, the holy angels of the Lord, between God himself and the enemy, is constantly being played out on this earth. For all those who are unaware, let us ask for graces of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ and the Catholic faith, of hope and of courage, that God's servants might fear nothing. It might be prudent and, and fear sin, but might not fear the enemy, might have the, the great faith and hope you see, for example, in St. Paul. And then, we, in the, the crowning of Our Lady as Queen of Heaven and Earth today, let's think about the rejoicing of the angels in heaven who have Our Lady as their queen. We know that the angels rejoice. They're, they're not robots by any means. Our Lord talks about them rejoicing over, one, over the conversion of sinners. And so think about when Our Lady 
was, became a queen of heaven and earth, the joy of the angels to have her as their queen, the rejoicing, the angelic singing, uh, praising, the most beautiful sound we could ever imagine, and even more. And then amidst that celebration, their joy as they carry out now the tiniest of her requests upon the earth. So as we pray that last mystery today, the crowning of Our Lady, we can think about the joy of the angels in heaven and as they carry out her requests. So let's begin now with the prayer of St. Gertrude. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood, soul and divinity of your divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in union with all the holy masses which are said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The first glorious mystery the resurrection of our Lord from the dead, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, faith. Our Father, 
Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord into heaven, we ask for the fruit of the mystery, hope. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Ghost upon the apostles and the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, zeal for the salvation of souls. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Our Lady into Heaven. We ask for the fruit of the mystery, true devotion to Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, the crowning of Our Lady, Queen of Heaven and Earth. We ask for the fruit of final perseverance, and also let us think about and let us rejoice in the very rejoicing of the angels in heaven, who rejoice having Our Lady as their Queen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thine mercy. O Immaculate Heart of Mary, you are the Holy Mother of God and our tender mother. Look upon the distress in which the Church and the whole of humanity are living because of the spread of materialism and the persecution of the Church. In Fatima, you warned against these errors as you spoke about the errors of Russia. You are the Mediatrix of all graces. Implore your Divine Son to grant this special grace for the Pope, that he might consecrate Russia to your Immaculate Heart, so that Russia will be converted a period of peace will be granted to the world, and your Immaculate Heart will triumph through an authentic renewal of the Church, in the splendor of the purity of the Catholic faith, of the sacredness of divine worship, and of the holiness of the Christian life. O Queen of the Holy Rosary and our sweet Mother, turn your merciful eyes to us and graciously hear this, our trusting prayer. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulce, Do, Et Spes Nostra Salve, Ante Clamamus, Exules Filii Eve, Ante Suspiramus, Gementes et Flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exiligum ostende. O clemens, O pia, Oh, 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 oh,
Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pour out his graces upon each one of your families. Benedictio de Omnipotentis. Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et mariat semper. Amen. And so please, if you have a few more minutes, please do uh, remain here for just a couple more minutes while I share with you some wonderful news. And to put first things first, I want to read, first of all, the gospel for today and say a few words on this Feast of Christ the King. And also, I'll put the sisters first since we should should always try to put contemplative nuns first, I think. So the, the Holy Gospel for this Feast of Christ the King comes from the Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Pilate said to Jesus, Are you the King of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of yourself? Or have others told you of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own people and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my followers would certainly have fought that I might not be delivered to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate therefore said to him, You are then a king? Jesus answered, You say it, I am a king. This is why I was born, and why I have come into the world, to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. And so as our Lord said, He is a king. And elsewhere, he says, all power in heaven and on earth has been given to him. And so he's a king with all authority, with all might, with all power. And this feast of Christ the King is, is especially helpful today in a time when so many voices in society are, are saying um, faith, the Catholic faith in particular, but faith should be just pushed to your private life, but it should take less and less of a place in, in any, anything beyond just your own thoughts and heart. Maybe when you're inside the church and then your thoughts and heart, but that's about it, perhaps within your own family. But even there, uh, there's a lot of challenges. And it's good to remember that no, that the, the natural thing or the supernatural thing, but the ordinary thing, the, the reasonable thing to do, once you come to know and believe that Jesus Christ is who he really is, is that he be the king guide everything in our life. How could we want anything different? Uh, he's God Almighty, he redeemed us, he has every right. And so we want him certainly to be the king of my own life, my, my thoughts, my heart, but also how I live my life, and then my family's life, that everything in our home, our family be pleasing to him and, and guided according to his will. And then also in our communities, in our towns, it's beautiful that you can still find on, on the internet, for example, videos from maybe, uh, maybe almost 100 years ago or 80 years ago when whole towns would come out and have Corpus Christi processions. So the whole town would be there, all the children dressed up, and the whole town honoring the Blessed Sacrament as they processed through the town, seeing what it's like when a whole town, and even used to be whole countries, would honor the Lord in that way. I remember a priest talking about in Monterrey, Mexico, this would have been about 30 years ago, seeing the whole town even then when, when things were, 
were not what they used to be, but still for the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, all of the different businesses would join in procession so the Coca-Cola plant would have its Coca-Cola procession in honor of Our Lady of Guadalupe and all of them would have this big parade and be processing and honoring and coming to the sanctuary. That's really just the natural response, the ordinary response, what we should be doing when we come to believe that Jesus Christ is King. But I won't say more now because I do need to give you this, I want to give you this good news. And so first of all, for the nuns, uh, the good Benedictines of Mary, whose voices you hear every day in this rosary, they are trying to found a new monastery. And so they just produced another CD with their beautiful singing in honor of Christ the King. And so I, I think it's only fair that I, I mention that, I offer that to you and ask you to consider, since they've been so generous for helping this rosary, to consider that for yourself or as a Christmas gift for someone. Uh, I, I can say myself, I listen to their other CDs sometimes just while I'm studying or doing things because I find them uh, very prayerful and helpful and certainly beautiful, but really with a good spirit that I think um, helps the soul. So I would encourage you, my favorite tract I think on this new CD is the second tract. So if you all wait, if you get the CD, you can discover which one that is, but I think that's my favorite of their songs that they sing. So that, uh, that God willing, you're seeing right now uh, on your screen the information of where you can order one of those CDs if you would like to support the Benedictines of Mary. And I, I really, I've had the blessing of visiting their monastery. I can say that I think they're very, um, it's a very good community uh, with lots of young vocations and I think well worth supporting. And so now for the, the good news. So from the, from the bottom of my heart, really thank each and every one of you who, um, who contributed, uh, you actually contributed over $100,000, uh, which is wonderful news. That was my hope uh, that we might reach that, but I didn't want to say that and leave it, leave it very freely to what God would determine, because what that means is that I really can not only pay the debts for the, the, the rosary up until now, not only have the funds for through the end of the year, but be in a, a good, prudent position to plan and go forward for the coming year and to be able to look at some other aspects of uh, ways of distributing this rosary, ways of helping people come to pray it, and also begin to look at the possibility of some other projects. One that just in this past week in God's divine providence, uh, I learned of some news, that uh, some very important news that I'll share with you next Sunday. I can't do so yet. Um, and as part of that, there might be quite a significant project that I would be able to let you know about in the first part of the new year. But what you've done is you really have helped me um, discern God's will, because I think this is a real sign that this is something he wants me doing, which is a real joy. And if one day he takes that away, then blessed be God. And, and that's, that's also wonderful. But it's a real joy for me to be able to um, help you all and other families and people come to pray the Holy Rosary and allow God to act more deeply in their lives uh, through this and, and perhaps through some other ways because now I can begin to look at some of the, the, the significant investment and time it would take to research and do some uh, addition, initial planning to see whether some other projects might be worth doing. So. Thank you very much. And as a, as a way of thanking you, I think it's only appropriate, I'll be offering a novena of masses for all of you who contributed to Regina Angelorum, a novena of masses beginning on Christmas Day uh, through January the 2nd. So each one of those masses every day will be offered for you, for your intentions, for your families. Uh, and I know I'm, some of you will probably ask this question, so I'll answer it right now. That also includes, for example, those of you who have uh, put things in the mail that haven't arrived yet. So any, any contribution that's made this year, you will be included in that novena of masses uh, as a way of thanking you for what you've made possible. So God bless you. It's, it's, a, it's a real joy for me to be able to continue praying this rosary with you each day um, and offering your intentions to the Lord here and in the holy sacrifice of the mass. So. God bless you. Have a wonderful feast of Christ the King, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, and God willing, for many, many days to come.